first of all, I, I apologize to anybody that paid money to come watch that, watch that effort from that team. The, the one thing is they at least got to watch one team play hard. I thought Citadel played connected. I thought they played hard. I thought they played with a purpose. And I thought our team was poor in that area. And that starts with me, number one. It starts with me. Um, and i got to find a way to get these guys ready to go. Like in Europe, I mean, you score six in a row to start the second half, and it looked like everything was relatively okay. Where does, how does it turn the way it turned after that? This game was over before we even got here. We have no energy at shooting around. We didn't have any energy at practice. That's who this team has been. Like, but you also, you have an opportunity, right? You, you try and learn from whatever the last game was, right? Like, so you end the first half, you end the second half, and we talk about how we finished. But one play kind of changes everything, right? And like, we have the ball, we're up. I think we're up three, and we run the play. Tay rolls, catches it, and then turns it over. When he's at the rim and Kevin's at the rim open, we turn it over. They go down and get fouled and get free throws. Next possession, Marcus comes down and turns it over. They go down and get fouled and get free throws, get points. There's the game. The game flips right there with turnovers like that. And then our emotional intelligence is not very good. We don't handle failure well at all. When failure happens, we collapse, right? So that's on me as a coach. I got to find a way for us to be better. Hopefully I can find a way for us to not fail. Micah, what, what kind of message does it send to benching Keva, uh, Tay, and Braden late in the second half? I should have benched them earlier. Is this the biggest disappointment so far in your tenure here? Yes. Um, I mean, I hate every loss, but to not come out and compete, man, that, that don't sit well with me, ever. So I say I apologize to the fans, right? My message before the game was like, this is the Christmas season. And, like, you see a lot of people mail it in early before Christmas and people come in here and get beat. And that's exactly, maybe I was forecasting what was going to happen. But they don't believe what I say. Braden is your three-point specialist, but... No, he's not. He's, not, he's, not, he's, he's not. shooting 20-something percent from three. Okay, so so how do you get the best out of him after performance like He's got to play better. He's got to guard some people. He's got to have some toughness. He, or he's going to be sitting next to me, him and Tay, and Keba, the same way. Like, they're playing with zero effort right now. Do you go back to Rolfs tonight and work with them or just let this No, out? we can't. Rules don't allow us to not do it on the game day. We'll get back in here early tomorrow. I want to spend some time in here practicing. I don't care about this game on Friday. I can tell you that right now. This is about our team getting better. But this is about our team finding some kind of focus, having some kind of competitive balance. It doesn't matter who you play. Everybody can beat you. And these dudes, like, they get up in the morning and they march. And they got some toughness to them. And we don't have toughness. And we wilted right away. But that again, that starts with me. I gotta change my approach. So we'll have a different approach and we'll see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen on Friday. But if people don't compete, then you're gonna see more walk-ons a lot more earlier than this, because uh, we're building a culture. And that ain't it. That is not the culture we're trying to build. So a message needs to be sent to some of these guys that like if you don't play hard, then you can sit and rot over there on the bench. And I'll, I'll find a way. I'll go and talk to the people in compliance. I will help you transfer. Because this culture is getting built the right way. And if you ain't a part of it, you're out. And I don't care.